Hello and welcome to this week's newscast from Power Engineering International. I'm Kelvin Ross. In this week's headlines, a delivery company has been formed to build Wilfer new nuclear power plant in the UK. Dusan Babcock has won a coal to biomass conversion contract. Man Diesel is to build a 40 megawatt oil fired plant in Saudi Arabia. And Siemens has delivered four gas turbines to what's set to become the biggest combined cycle plant in the world. Horizon Nuclear Power has appointed a specially created joint venture to deliver its flagship new build project in the UK, Wilfer Neward. The joint venture comprises Hitachi Nuclear Energy Europe, engineering and construction company Bechtel Management, and Japanese engineering firm JGC Corporation. It will be responsible for the construction of Wilfer on the Isle of Anglesey in Wales. Horizon Chief Executive Duncan Hawthorne said the creation of the delivery company adds to Wilfer's growing momentum. He added that the expertise of the three companies would ensure that Wilfer would be delivered on time and on cost. Hitachi GE, which has been operating under contract to Horizon for more than three years, will continue to provide the advanced boiler water reactor technology for Wilfer. Horizon Nuclear Power was formed in 2009 and was acquired by Tarshi in 2012. Wilfer will be its first UK new build project and it plans to follow it with another reactor at Albury in England. UK headquartered Dusan Babcock has won a contract to deliver combustion and emission systems for a biomass conversion of a coal-fired power plant in England. Linmouth Power Station near Newcastle has three 140 megawatt coal boilers which have been converted to biomass. The plant's owned and operated by Czech Republic Energy Company EPH. Dusan Babcock will deliver the complete scope of boiler works and once completed the plant will consume around 1.4 million tonnes of wood pellets per year for the next decade. Over the last two years Dusan Babcock has conducted full-scale development and testing of the biomass burner at its clean combustion test facility in Scotland and this will be deployed at Linmouth. Germany's Mann Diesel and Turbo is to build a 40 megawatt power plant in Saudi Arabia. It will be equipped with two engines running on heavy fuel oil and diesel oil and will provide power to a factory north of Jeddah owned by the Arabian Cement Company. Construction is due to start this year and will mark the first phase of the project. A second phase will see the plant's capacity increase to 120 megawatts with the installation of four more engines. As Alexander Stockler of Man Diesel said that Saudi Arabia is a growing core market for the company. Siemens has marked the arrival of four H-class gas turbines at what's set to become the world's biggest combined cycle power plant. The 400 megawatt turbines have been delivered to the site of the Beni Suef power plant in Egypt. Egypt's energy minister, Dr. Mohamed Shaka, saw two of the turbines being placed on their foundations. Afterwards, he said that Egypt is undergoing an economic transformation and as it embarks on many ambitious infrastructure projects, he said efficient and reliable electricity was essential. The new plant, located south of Cairo, is due to start supplying its first electricity to the grid as early as the end of this year. It will initially be operated in simple cycle mode, but will be expanded to a combined cycle plant with the addition of heat exchangers and steam turbines, which will take its total installed capacity to 4.8 gigawatts. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.